Why hello there everybody, I am back playing even more Pokemon's Universe. I've been blasting through all of Team Dimension's admins here on this rocket base space station, and I feel like I'm getting really close to the end here now. However, the rocket is really close to landing on the moon, so I need to blast through these guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can stop them before we get to the moon, although something tells me that we won't, but hey, I don't know. Alright, XC11. I saw him mention something about the Xenoverse as well, or something about Alola. Oh no, wait, this is a bad matchup here. Electivire. Man, my whole team, I'm very, very scared of Electric-type Pokémon. <laughs> I got a Water-type. I got a Sound-type. I've got a Flying-type, but my Flying-type is Electric as well, so... I have a little bit of a weird relationship here with Electric Pokémon. I'm just gonna go for something interesting. I'm gonna Swords Dance, and then I'm gonna play rough. And I'm gonna hope that this guy dies. Please die, good sir. Would you do me the kind favor of- Oh, there we go. Yeah, Chi-Chi with Swords Dance is going to demolish everybody later. In fact, it's gonna demolish everybody now. Like, Chi-Chi is entering demolish mode. Error! Of course it was an error. Well, that guy gave me a lot of money, on account of the fact that Chi-Chi is uh, holding my luck incense. That is quite an investment. I'm making so much gosh dang money. How much, uh, how much money does my character currently even have? 208,000! That's a lot of schmackaronis right there, that's a lot of, that's a lot of cash. Let's fight. You're done, human! I just tanked on cola and I'm full of energy! I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew! Alright, let's fight. He's got his Coca-Cola in him. You'd think that it, was it would mess up his circuits, but who knows? Maybe these are robots who can run on soda. This really is the future. The future is wild. We got some, we got robots out here chugging cola. What's next? I don't even know what's next. Well, I do know that a one-shot's in the next. Or in the future. In the next. What am I even saying anymore? Words are so hard, am I right? Alright, Hound Doom. Words might be hard, but one-shotting a Hound Doom like this? Not so hard. Let me tell you, not as hard. I should be afraid of them going first, but I'm not afraid. I'm just gonna go with Liquidation. See, if they used Crunch or something on me, that would do a lot of damage. But they won't get the chance. I won't give you the satisfaction. My whole team, man, is pretty freaking busted. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm pretty busted. You kinda can't stop me. I'm just gonna go any way that I please in this gosh dang space station. Like, I want to go here. So I'm gonna go here now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Part of me is wondering if I should just, like, run past these guys. I'm a little bit, like, obnoxiously overleveled. Look at me go! I'm schmoovin' on him! See, what I did just there probably is gonna save, like, ten minutes. We're schmoovin', we're speedrunning. Look at me go! Dude, I got my movement on! Alright, I'm not gonna be stopped in here. Ooh, this seems pretty climactic. Hello, what's going on in here? Do you want to fight me? This has to be, like, the path up to Victor. There's no way. This is way too gosh dang climactic. This is so cool. Let's get our let's get our fight on. Let's fight. Let's go. I'm coming for you. Ooh. Aster and Victor. A little confrontation. Victor, there's no way out now. Stop this badness and bring Verasil back, or you'll have to deal with the fury of my Pokemon. You mean Silver? I decoded this already. Oh, Aster, do you seriously think I'm that foolish? Hmm. I'm well aware that I would never have a chance against you, so I played it smart. You should have been more careful before just rushing here, don't you think? I've got a crazy theory. What if... What if Victor is like the altar of Versil? Could be interesting, right? Enough with your rambling, Victor! Go Suicune! What? Huh? What? What's wrong with my Pokémon? Hmm, <laughs> I would say you took the bait like a Magikarp. The scepter of mine is not just a mere ornament, but an avant-garde device whose function is to cause interference with the opening mechanism of Pokeballs. You can't throw out your Pokemon. What? But this means... Yes, indeed, my dear Aster. It means you won't be able to count on your loyal Pokemon for a while. As a man of science, you should know by now, the mind always wins against brute force. Darn it, this is going well. I need some help. Back up! Hey, speak of the devil, it's my boy. It's my backup. What's up, dude? Yo, it's Camu. Watch out, Camu, he ambushed us. We can't use our Pokemon against him. My trap's effects are limited to one single individual, so if I may, I'd rather take the most formidable opponent out of the game, Aster, and handle anyone else myself. 
Oh, you are going to be sorely mistaken with that maneuver there, Victor. I'm not foolish enough to broadcast that Camu is not going to feel the effects of it. If I hadn't assumed all this in advance, wouldn't you say? I don't know why he's telling me how like his limitations are. I guess he's just that confident in a victory. I will personally put an end to this succession of despicable failures Team Dimension has stained at the hands of this youngster. Let me tell you, Victor, this is a really bad play. Oh, I couldn't agree more, Aster. See, that's why you're my boy. That's why Aster is my bro. He's got support. You took precautionary measures against me, and that was far-sighted of you. But you made the biggest mistake underestimating Camu. You're about to get blasted in the ass there, Victor. Everything is at stake in this battle, Camu. Prove him wrong, and let's bring your father back. Let's do it. Let's crush him. You're not going to accomplish anything, scoundrels. These four metal walls will be your grave. On guard. Allez. Ooh, he's busting out some French. Okay. He's got a custom battle theme, too. Okay. Let's see what his battle portrait looks like. Ooh, he's serious. All right, Victor, the general of Team Dimension. I'm not afraid. He leads with a cricket suit. This is my dream come true. This is a dream come true for me. I'm not even afraid. Look at that. That's probably gonna one-shot. See, Cricketune kind of sucks. Oh, he's got a Focus Sash. Of course he does. Of course he does. Everybody in this G-dang space station has a Focus Sash. And or Sturdy. Oh, perfect. Perfect. If you want to use full restores, use them now. Get them out of the way now. I'm recognizing this battle theme a little bit. This, this motif of the music sounds familiar somewhat. Oh, his Tyranitar is coming out. Will I switch? I hit no to switching. I'm not afraid of your bug-type Tyranitar. As cool as it looks, let me tell you, I'm not afraid, cuz I've got a Fire-type move. Why would I be afraid? Oh, that didn't do a whole lot. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe I should have been afraid. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's just one of my Pokemon down. I've got plenty more where that came from, and in comes one of my strongest Pokemon, Thundaga here. I know that since you're a bug type, I could probably F you up. Yep. Damn, I'm surprised that that wasn't super effective. Was was that bug rock, maybe? That's pretty hardcore. Malamar, will I switch? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm not afraid of you. Malamar, you can suck on this. Acrobatics is just too dang good of a move. What do you got? Psycho cut, huh? Look at that. Look at the damage discrepancy here. Oh yeah, please. Please keep popping full restores on all your weaker Pokemon. I'm actually uh, really happy that um, Tyranitar never had a full restore used on it. That would have been a little bit of a pain in the butt. Dude, Victor, you're kind of getting rocked right here, guy. A Gorgion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. What the hell is an Gorgion? Is it like a crazy, like, X version of Eevee? Oh, it's like a nightmare. What the heck? So it's some sort of Gorgon. What are you? Oh, it knows electric moves. Okay, that kind of hurt. What are you, though? Are you electric? What are you? Okay, that's not very effective. I feel like it was more effective against me than it was against him. Crap, I should switch out. But what do I switch to? I'm gonna drop a Thunder Wave before switching. Draco Meteor! Okay, you're Electric Dragon. Okay. Oh, a special attack harshly fell. Okay. White Herb? No! It was able to restore its stats. Oh, it's faster, too. Shit. Okay. Crap. Wait, if it's Dragon, I have the ultimate answer. I have the ultimate Pokemon lying in wait. I'm sorry that you made me do this, but you're making me bring out the big guns. You're making me bring out Chi-Chi. And, um, it's faster than Chi-Chi. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, oh no. Come on, man. All right. I'm still going to go for Play Rough, though. I'm stubborn here. Thunderbolt, you're not going to do shit to Chi-Chi. Play Rough is going to do shit to you, though. Oh, yeah. That did a lot. Dude, that Agorkion is scary. That's a very strong Pokemon. Electric Dragon. I'd maybe like to get one on my team. I don't know. That's kind of that's kind of neat. That's kind of cool. All right. What else do you have? Hypno. Will I switch? Do I even switch here? I'm gonna switch, actually. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to see if I can play the whole field. If I can get my whole team in the battle. I don't think I'll be able to get Sukiro or Spuddy. But I'm down to, I'm down to play as much of my team as I can. Phantom Force is gonna mess this guy up. Hypno, suck on this. Yeah, oh, you're super dead. <laughs> Take that, Victor. You kinda suck. 
I should have planned the situation more carefully. You really should have. I don't know why you were underestimating me. I'm the protagonist, dude. Did you see my spiky hair? Come on. From one spiky hair user to another. Got anything to say, Victor? Versil's son is everything it takes to be the very best. Ugh, I should have planned the situation more carefully. I'd never have thought that anyone other than Aster could foil my plans, but it seems I was fatally wrong. See, I don't know why his plans are fatally, or why his plans are foiled. I just beat him in a Pokemon battle. I mean, theoretically, you'd still be able to pull the trigger on any sort of rocket plan that you got going on. Mm -hmm. It's obvious now that I was the inept one for underestimating the menace rather than my soldiers. Your impudence was your doom, and now you're going to face the consequences. Victor, bring us to Versil now! Uh, after such a display of power, I can only comply without any resistance. What? He's going to take me to go see Versil? Whoa! Follow me. He's actually just leading us through the base? That's pretty cool. A little more patience, please. We're almost there. This is wild. We're just following the general. I'm just, like, lightly tiptoeing behind him. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. The deepest room in the spaceship. What better place to hold Versil? My d your dear man is behind these doors, locked inside by a code only I possess. Oh, Victor's being a bro and let me in, though. I held my side of the bargain. Now do what you must. Don't even think about moving from there, Victor. Once we're done here, we'll make sure you're delivered to justice so you can pay for your crimes. Kemu, me and your mother had no clue about Versil's whereabouts. Then, like a thunder on a sunny day, your burning wish to find him made your blood boil, making you partake in a journey, an adventure during which you surrounded yourself with trustful companions, facing harder challenges. And those challenges led you here, just one step before finally meeting with your father. You were successful where we adults failed, so I think it's fair you're the first one to enter. Go, reunite with your old man after all this time. Daddy! It's me! Is my whole team healed? It's not. I'm thinking that just in case, I don't know why, but I'm feeling it, I'm feeling uh, just in case I want to heal up here. Let me just pop a little bit of a, little bit of a revival herb there. I'll be coming to talk to you in just a little bit though, Dad. Versil, I'm coming to talk to you. Although, I, should I call him Silver? I mean, the secret's out, right? We've solved the mystery. The very, very not well hidden mystery. <laughs> the one that was hidden in plain sight. All right, let's save up. And let's go, let's go talk to Versil. I made it, let's go. Once you enter this room, you won't be able to go back. Do you wish to proceed? Let me in. Let me at him. I'm getting in there. Ooh. This is another long hallway. Versil? No daddy? Uh-oh, that's another long hallway. Part of me makes me think that this is like leading up to another battle, but I don't know why I would fight him. Maybe there's some reason that I would? I hope I don't have to fight my dad. Versil? Hello? What's going on in here? Oh, he's hiding behind a desk, or he's sitting behind a desk. Did he want to do this? Is this all part of his plan? Look at the moon in the window there, too. That looked really nice. Oh, look at him! He's holding his hand up against the glass. We made it to the space station. What's up, Versil? Welcome, guys. That's <laughs> so nonchalant. Welcome, friends. What's up, dudes? The sight here is breathtaking, don't you think? Versil, speak up. Say, explain this. Master. Camu, you've grown so much. How's your mom? I don't know, she's alright, I guess. Hey, show me some enthusiasm. Those sad mugs don't match such a joyful reunion. Oh, he's got little tears in his eyes. I mean, it's been years since the last time we met, right? Yes, it, it surely has. You expected me to be in a whole different situation, right? I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you're, you got a nice setup here. Yet, what you see in front of your eyes is nothing but the pure and simple truth. I'm the commander of Team Dimension, or... I'm the commander of Team Dimension. Look the bold there. I knew it, Versil. You bastard. He wants to destroy the Xenoverse. Master. No. Versil, what are you doing? Do you have any idea what we've been through to get here? Your kid. Your kid faced the world to find his lost dad and you. You think you can get away with this? Hold your horses, Aster. There's a reason behind everything, and you deserve an explanation more than anyone else. You see... I understand your perspective, but I'm asking you to just listen to me. Everything I did was for your own sake, believe me. You staged your disappearance so that you could keep working on your sick plan undisturbed? Do you really think your words mean anything to us any longer? Who knows how many times you lied to us? Yeah, Versil, that was kind of not a smart move, lying to us. Are you kidding me, dude? How- It would not have been hard 
for him to come clean and meet me face to face. Unless he's just been on the moon the whole time. But no, he's been on this rocket. Versal, you bastard. It's because of this that I'm opening my heart to you to tell you how things really are. I don't know, maybe he's lying, I don't know. What I'm about to say will be the first of many sour truths. But since I chose to tell you the truth, I might as well do it for good. Yes, please. You see, the name you know me with, Versil, is nothing but a pseudonym. I knew it! I could have told you that. Silver from Johto. That's my real identity. <gasps> Plot twist! <gasps> Silver! Versil! Unbelievable! Even your name was a lie! I've always brought with me an enormous burden. My father's name, Giovanni. Oh, this is connected to Team Rocket. Ah! As the leader of the most infamous criminal organization in Kanto and Johto, his fame in the world of crime was immense. Many clans fervently wished to be under his wing, so in a brief amount of time, he managed to build an enormous empire of crime. I never wanted our names to be associated, so, following a suggestion given to me by a friend in the Interpol, I decided to change life in another region. Could that friend have been Looker? <laughs> I like that guy. I would have been devastated if my past were to be harmful for my family. Hmm. So I moved to Eldu with my beloved partner, adopting with her the names of Versil and Clover, so that no one could ever reach us. Wait, Clover's not a real name. Clover was in on this from the beginning. Her knowledge of the facts is limited to this. As for the rest, she knows as much as you do, if not even less. But now let me get straight to the core of the matter. What's going on here, Silver? Everything was going smoothly. I married Clover and was more than serious in trying to leave a good memory of me by working at the lab in Hadwarf City. My father, on the other hand, broadened his horizons and begun showing interest in interdimensional travels, looking for new lands to conquer. Damn it! Why is Giovanni such an asshole? One of these travels one day proved to be his doom, as he fell victim to a Pokemon, leaving this world for good. Oh shit. Damn, Giovanni was killed by a po Ugh, that sucks. Oh no. Once this news reached me, I thought I would have felt relieved, yet it tortured me. It makes, makes sense. You, you want to avenge him, right? What if that wretched creature that put an end to him were to harm my beloved ones as well? He wants to... Yeah, okay, I see where Versal's coming from here. Okay, I can, I can see that. Giovanni, he managed to enter the Xenoverse, right? That's right. Exactly, Aster. And the Pokemon who killed him was nothing less than Dragalisk, the lord of that world. So he wants to kill the lord of the Xenoverse? That's brutal. But I think I know where you're going with this, Versal. Team Dimension, your destructive plan. Are you saying that all of this was born out of fear? That's true, fear leads to hate, and that's kind of scary. I couldn't bear to lose my family as well, so I started searching for a solution. You did lose your family, you dumbass! Oh my god, Versil! I was so scared of losing my family that I abandoned my family. Do you hear yourself? Do you, do you hear yourself? Finally, thanks to the ancient legends passed on by the Cardinals, I reached the Epiphany. The primeval creature, the starter Pokemon, the red and blue energies, the Xenogates, and finally, the Xenoverse Eclipse. I decided that would have been the moment I'd have harnessed or have harnessed to enter the Xenoverse and destroy it, so that it could never hurt anyone anymore. In order to achieve that, though, I needed a pure-hearted person who could bear the burden imposed by both energies, which are vital for opening the Great Xenogate. So you you tried to go with Trey? Are you telling me that Trey is your son also? Is Trey my brother? You decided that Camus would have opened it for you, don't you? Yep, that's me. I'm pure-hearted. Or pure enough, I guess. More like pure-farted. I would have rather left him out of this mess, but he's born under a good star. In simpler words, perfect for this task. I decided that I'd entrust him with one of the three starter Pokemon and then disappear immediately after. Dude, Silver. Dude. Uh, somebody needs to give him, like, parenting for dummies. Parenting 101. So that his adventure would lead him to this point of my research. And so it was! He should have stepped in somewhere along the way. Silver, come on! I should smack him in the face right now. Stupid! Kamu, I'm asking you to give me your Pokemon and the two cores for the sake of the plan. Can, can I say no? Can I, like, flip him off? Once everything here is settled, I promise you we'll go back to live like a normal family. He's got a little evil... Well, maybe it's not an evil grin. He's, he does have the tears in his eyes. Can I say no, though? My dear child, if I put you in danger, the only thing I ask of you is forgiveness. Everything I've done was for a greater good. Uh, I, I, hear, I hear the heartbeat. I feel like ass. I feel like my altar is gonna come out now, and I'm gonna punch him. And if I had made you or your mother suffer, it's because I had no other choice. You did have another choice. 
Oh, is Alter actually coming out? Let's go. Yeah! Yep, there he is. I knew it. Oh, man, it's that energy again. Victor told me about something similar happening in the Quasar Express. This must be the Altar unleashing its power when you let yourself be possessed by this universe energy. I've never seen one with my own eyes. What astounding power! Look at me, I'm all edgy and mad. Oh, you're approaching me? JoJo reference? Very well, come forth. Oh, you're approaching me? I want to see this to the end. So be aware, I won't hold back. Oh, we're getting our battle on. Okay, Versil. It's a friggin' Dad of the Year award. All right, Versil. I won't hold back, and you better not either. Dimension Commander Versil. That's a hardcore title. Ooh, a Crobat. I can take him on. Look at my battle back! I'm so I'm in the altar form, but I'm also in the space outfit. That's so cool. Aw, oh, man. Why is Crobat faster? Oh, that did, like, no damage, though. Oh, that did damage, though. Yeah, bring it on, man. I'm in my altar form. I can't be stopped. I dare you to come at me. I'm really glad I healed before this. All right, what else you got? Rex Quiem. Oh, this was somebody that I needed to be afraid of, right? Sounds like a dragon. I'm sending in my fairy type now. This might be the time where I try to look into a sweep as well. I could swords dance and then just poop on everybody. Rex Quiem. I dare you to hit me with something. I dare you. Come on. Oh, this isn't a dragon, by the way. This must be the evolution of... Oh, wait, no, that's gonna hurt. Uh-oh. Uh. Well, at least I'm faster, though, so... Um... No, I selected the wrong move! I wanted to do... Oh, wait. Okay, that still worked. That still worked out just fine. Oh my gosh, I selected... I wanted to go up to play rough, but hey. Sacred Sword works just fine. Okay, Entei. Oh, I should probably switch. But I'm not gonna. You know me, baby. Pressure, I don't even care. I don't even care, I used the sword stance. I can't be stopped. Okay, maybe I can be stopped. <laughs> I let it go to my head a little bit. All right, sorry, Chi-Chi. You kind of got dealt a bad hand there. I can't believe that freaking... <sighs> Damn, he has a freaking Entei. And Aster has a Suicune, but who has Raikou? Who has it? Oh, full restore. That's fine. That's fine. I can Aqua Jet, and it'll do a lot. Oh, it'll do a lot. Okay, Entei's dead this turn. You got no chance. You got no freaking chance. If Aqua Jet's gonna do that much damage to you, Liquidation is gonna be doing so much more. Oh my gosh. A Feraligator. Um, could this be like an X Feraligator? I don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna go on a limb here, and I'm gonna guess it's a normal Feraligator. I'm gonna throw out my electric type, and whatever happens, happens. Oh, cool. It is a normal Feraligator. I guess you could say I made the right call there. Suck on this, Silver! You bastard! I wonder if the Pokemon that he has here would change based on my starter. I chose fire, so maybe he has a water. But if I chose a different type, maybe he would have a different Johto starter. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, Spuddy with Trick Room. Oh, that could be really good, actually. So I, I could have priority on Spuddy. Oh, where the slower Pokemon gets to move first. Okay, I'll pass on it for now, but I'll go back to a Pokemon Center sometime and maybe consider messing around with my team. Weevil? Oh, I'm switching. Oh, it's Sukiro's time to shine. It's my time. Ooh, you're done. Hit me with your best shot. Sucker punch me. I dare you. I freaking dare you. I'm going for the whole... I'm going for the whole shebang. Oh, a Mega. Uh-oh, he's got a Mega Weevil. <gasps> that looks really cool. Look at his, like, ice helmet. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's a really cool form. Don't freeze me. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, could you go ahead and die, please? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not used to seeing Mega Pokemon in this. Wow. Well, um, that was a good battle, Versil, but um, you suck. I knew that counting on you was the right choice all along. Darn right, you should always bet on me. However, um, that still doesn't right the wrongs. I guess I enter, I exit my altar form now? Hmm. It seems this battle managed to quell his resentment a little bit. Just a little, I guess. <sighs> You know, Camu, right after the beginning of my plan, fate chose to make me meet someone I thought would be the perfect substitute for you. You and Trey were in some way destined to clash, and the one of you who came out victorious would have been the true chosen one. I've been the true chosen one all along, baby. You should not be doubting me. After this battle, I can finally say without the slightest hint of a doubt that my first intuition was the right one. Child of mine, you're the expected one. It's over. Your decade of schemes has come to an end. Give up, Versil. Yeah, give up, my guy. 
Hmph. Just a humph? Really? Wait, don't don't tell me that. Oh yes, you've always been a clever boy, Aster. None of this is quite over yet. In fact, this is where everything begins. Uh oh, he pressed the button. What's going on here? Oh, it's the other starters. Shyleon, Shulong. They've been there the whole time. That's really cool that it changes based on the starter that I chose. In order to reopen the Great Xeno Gate, three key ingredients are required. The starter Pokemon, the two energies, and finally, someone who bore both of those energies. Oh no. He's going to take my starter from me and force open the Xeno Gate. Camu, I had to find a way to force you to unleash your Pokemon's power. The reason behind our battle was this all along. Uh-oh. No. And now, reveal yourself, Xenoverse. Oh no. That's the name of the game. It's the title drop. This can't be good. Oh, that's kind of scary. Wow, the legends of the Cardinals passed on for all this time weren't just simple fairy tales. The doors of the Xenoverse have opened up right in front of my eyes. No, Versil, this is where Giovanni died. Why would you willingly dive into there? Forgive me, Camu, but this is a score I must settle on my own. If you try to hold me back, I'll have to act accordingly and force you to surrender. How can you make... You cannot force me to surrender. Did you not remember the battle we just had? Versil, don't do it. It's too risky. What do you think you'll do once you're inside? For the planet to be demolished, I'll need to rid it of its lord. Dragalisk shall fall by my hand. He's gonna kill Dragalisk. You know what you're gonna you don't know what you're gonna face, Versil. That being is far beyond the possibilities of a human. No, not me. It, it killed my dad, but uh, I'm going in there. That's why I made sure to have an ace up my sleeve, a full-fledged final weapon. Show yourself. Mewtwo! Oh no! That's so cool! It's got a Xeno Mewtwo. Please let me get that on my team. Thank you. You see, I omitted one small detail in my story. Before his annihilation, Giovanni fought for his life against Dragalisk, but to no avail. One of his Pokémon, though, managed to survive, and with its last energies, returned to Earth. That Pokémon was this Mewtwo. It came back to the only thing left to him, you, Versil, the son of its trainer. Always the clever one, young Aster. That's exactly how things went by. However, Mewtwo was in critical condition, so we forced... So we were forced to make it undergo a further genetic mutation. Oh, that's hardcore, man. That's a very cool design. What you're seeing is Mewtwo X, the final weapon whose power rivals the One of the Gods, or the One of Gods. Oh no! That's that's horrible. Camus is right. We're not letting you go that easily. Oh, you can't even stop me. Very well. It seems you're way too stubborn, child. Mewtwo, take care of this. Then join me once you're done with these two impudent fools. No, don't make me fight Mewtwo. No, Versal. Oh, he's jumping into the Xenoverse. God dang it. Dang. Damn it! Camu, I'm still under the effect of Victor's trap, so I'm useless more than anything. I'm gonna- I'm going behind your father. Oh, he's- yeah, Mewtwo is not gonna let you run past. Shh, thump. Yeah, you just kinda got wrecked there. Arrgh. None of us will be able to go through that portal as long as that Mewtwo stands guard. We've got no choice. Camu, if we want to stop Versal, we'll have to face that Pokemon. I have to fight Mewtwo X right now? Oh my god, that is hardcore. But I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna lead with Thundaga so I can uh, Thunder Wave it. Oh boy, this is scary stuff though. Mewtwo X. If I could catch it, that would be the coolest thing ever. Let's fight! Mewtwo! Look how cool that art is. Oh man. This is so good. I feel like lately all the events in this game have just been like bop after bop after bop. It's just like cool thing after cool thing. All right, bring it on. The boss Pokemon Mewtwo wants to battle and he's got four health bars. Or maybe even five. His stats are higher. I'm not afraid though, I'm leading with Thunder Wave. Just don't kill me, don't kill me in one hit. Okay, cool. That's all that I could have hoped for. I'm thinking that Mewtwo has lower physical uh, defense, right? So I could acrobatics it? Oh, yes I can. <gasps> Oh no, it has it has form changing? Oh gosh. It changes to match the type of the moves that it's using. That's actually gonna be kind of a pain in the butt for me. Alright, I'm gonna go for something crazy here though. I'm gonna go for something crazy here. Sword stance? I'm gonna try to sweep it with Chi Chi. And since it's paralyzed. Oh, it's no, it's fire type now! Uh oh, that's really bad. <gasps> Critical hit! You've gotta be kidding me! You've got to be kidding me, Mewtwo! You asshole! Oh, I'm pretty sure that that wouldn't have been 
Oh, crap. All right, maybe I can still do some funny stuff with Spuddy. You know, I'm actually gonna take this turn to uh, max revive. I'm sorry, Spuddy, but I'm gonna throw your life away right here, right now. I'm gonna revival Herb Chi Chi. Dude, a critical fire punch like that was baloney. That was baloney! Still going for fire punches? Oh, perfect. Yeah, keep doing that. Um, I'll do cosmic power so that way I can get even more defensive. Maybe I could go for some stored power shenanigans. Oh, drain punch, that's fine. That shouldn't do too much, right? Oh, the fact that it's healing off of those is kind of a pain in the butt, though. Um, I'm gonna go for another cosmic power. I'm just gonna try to raise my defenses up a ton, and then maybe Mewtwo... Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. There we go. Who knows? Maybe I could actually win this battle just with Spuddy. Everybody's been sleeping on Spuddy. Spuddy is my buddy, and he can't be stopped. Although Shadow Ball could do a lot. Thankfully, that actually wasn't too much. If I Cosmic Power again, though... Yes. Yes. Raise my stats. Yes, get paralyzed again. All right, this is a little bit risky what I'm doing here. If he gets like a crit Shadow Ball, I might die. And I kind of don't want that to happen. So let's cross our fingers that that doesn't happen. Cool, 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 cool. That's good. All right, Spuddy. You're all set up to crush this Mewtwo. I don't know why I went all the way to the right there. I could have just gone down for my most last used item. All right, Psy Strike's gonna do like nothing to me. All right. I have stored a ton of power, so now it's time for you to get destroyed, my friend. Suck on that. Oh, that did nothing! Okay, but at least it's paralyzed and can't move. Wait, what if I do ancient power? If I get an all stat up, that could be crazy. Okay, drain punch isn't gonna do too much. Oh wait, this is perfect. No, critical hit! <gasps> Crap! All right, wait. He's fighting type right now, which is the perfect time for me to store and power him, but I don't want Spuddy to die. I'm not gonna throw it all away. Oh, perfect. That's the perfect paralyze right there. That was so perfect. That was so perfect. Okay, you are gonna take a ton of damage now, Mewtwo. Oh, that was two health bars. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Let's see it happen again. Stored power. Stored power for the boys. Oh, my God. That's a lot of damage. All right. So. I'm going to not try to KO it here, because I want to maybe see if I can catch it. If it's going to keep on going for drain punches, though, damn. I wonder if I can even catch it. Is it low enough that I could throw a ball? Let's find out. I cannot catch this Pokemon. Okay. Good to know. Now that we've learned... Oh, gosh. Stop it with the critical hits, Mewtwo. I don't want Spuddy to die. I want Spuddy to be the knight in shining armor that takes me home to the victory here. So, I'm gonna use an energy root here. Just because Mewtwo's got some gosh dang shenanigans up its sleeve. Mewtwo's been doing some baloney. It's been getting a lot of crits. Oh, and it's trying to lower my special defense too. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I think that's gonna mess with my stored power game. However, yep. God dang. You kind of got bodied there, Mewtwo. I hit you with my whole stored power shenanigans. So suck on that. Mew! Could I catch you? Could you? Oh. Mewtwo fled. That Mewtwo was a force of nature, but you managed to see it eye to eye. You have my respect, Camu. Aster, I should have been having your respect, my guy. Camu, Aster, there you are. Is it Alice? What's up? Or is it Trey? Who is it? Oh, it's both. You made it, guys. What the hell's going on in here? Not on time, though, just as I feared. We found Victor at the entrance, and he told us you were there. Or you were here. There's no time to waste. We have to chase Versil. We do. Alice, how do you... How do you know? Trey told me everything on the way here. Trey, you were holding out. Trey, you could have given me this information about Versil, my friend. Kimu, I understand how much the truth shocked you, but this is... This is the time for action. If your father really is in danger, we need to go in there and help him. We can't just stand here moping around after everything we've been through. Yes, Alice is right. We have to enter this universe as well, and quickly. We gotta go. Come on, Camu. We're following your lead once you're ready. Oh, man, I am not ready yet. I need to heal. Aster, can you heal me? Come on, Camu. We're waiting for you. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready just yet. Hey, Alice. We're gonna save your father. Yes, let's talk to Trey. This file is full of rubbish. I wish I could get these starters, too. That'd be cool. Um, I guess I'll heal up, right? I probably need to heal, unless I got healed after that. Yeah, I need to heal a little bit. Let's go Spuddy, though. 
Spuddy was really the hard carry in that last battle. The stored power, the resisting of all those drain punches. Chi Chi unfortunately kinda got clapped. I'm sorry, Chi Chi. Sometimes that's just gonna happen though, you know? Even if you're way over leveled, sometimes you just get critically clapped. Anyway, speaking of sometimes, sometimes the episode has to come to an end, especially when it's another long one. But hey, we've been having some good times. And I'm just having a blast playing Pokemon's Universe. I hope that you're having a blast hanging out with me. We're near the end of our adventure now, I think. So who knows, maybe in the next episode we'll reach the climactic finale. But until then, I hope that you all have a good one.